Welcome to online class of class 8. I am your English teacher MD Maruful Islam. Today's topic is transformation of sentences. Here we go. The first sentence is that Shamima came out as a winner. Shamima came out as a winner. Interrogative. That means you have to transform this sentence as an interrogative one. Here is the answer. Dear students, you can look, Shamima is the subject, came, it's the past form of the verb come. So, it is a sentence of past indefinite tense. That is why according to the rule, you have to take did as an auxiliary verb because you have the past form of princi principal verb. After this, not. Did not Shamima come out as a winner? Here you have no word not. So you have to take not. If there was a not, you don't have to take this word. Did not Shamima come out as a winner? It's an interrogative sentence, but it, it it's actually an a negative interrogative sentence. If you wanna change this sentence as an interrogative sentence, then you can also use this answer. Did Shamima come out as a loser? Here we use the opposite word or antonym of the word winner. Winner, antonym, loser. So you can solve this problem according to two types of law. You can make it as a negative interrogative sentence or an interrogative sentence. The next question. The next sentence is that a training center has been established by her. A training center has been established by her active in bracket. So we have to change the sentence as an active sentence or you have to use the active form of verb. For this work, you know, you have to identify the subject, a training center, verb has been established, preposition by an object, ha. You know, if you want to solve any, any, any verb from active to, from passive to active, you have to abide by some rules. At first, you have to take the object word as a subject. Here, the object is ha, and subject of ha is she. Then we took, then we have taken the auxiliary verb has, she has. Here, the principal, uh, the past participle form of the principal verb is established and it's, it's a weak verb, so its past form is also established. She has established. Now, subject, auxiliary verb, principal, past participle of principal verb. Now, you have to use the object, uh, the subject as an object, as an object. Here the subject is a training center. Now it's, it, it, it is used an object, a training center. The answer goes that she has established a training center. This is the active format of this passive sentence. Number C. Ramlal knows the weakness of the village people. Ramlal knows the weakness of the village people. Passive. That means you have to change the voice of the sentence from active to passive. Here the given sentence is, is, a, is an active one. You have to make it as a passive one. Now the answer. According to the law or grammar, here subject Ramlal knows principal verb the weakness of the village people. 
is the object. So, if you make it a passive one, you have to place the object as a subject or you have to use the object as a subject. Here, here we go. I'm also, uh, I also use this object as a subject, the weakness of the village people. According to the rule, law or rules, now we have to take, you have to take a um, be verb according to the subject. Here subject is the weakness of the people that indicates singular number. So you have to take the singular form of verb is. Then first participle form of the main verb, no. Here knows, so is known is the first participle form of the verb. Then you have to take the preposition to because you know that the verb no don't take the preposition by. Here you have to use the preposition to. Then you have to place the subject as an object or you have to use the subject as an object. Now the answer goes that the weakness of the village people is known to Ramlal. Dear students, the next sentence, sentence D, how long the sea beach of Cox's Bazar is? How long the sea beach of Cox's Bazar is? Assertive, that means you have to change it as an assertive sentence. It's an exclamatory sentence, you have to change it as an assertive sentence. You can see how is the starting word of this sentence. Then how long a phrase, the beach, sea beach of Cox's brother is another part and is is the verb. If you want to change it as an assertive one, then you have to take the subject at first. Here subject is the sea beach of Cox's Bazaar. Here you go. You can see the answer. The sea beach of Cox's Bazaar. Then place the used be verb. Be verb is is. Is. Now here you can see the word very. It is used the alternation or transformation of how. Here exists how, so you have to use very. If here exists what are, you have to use a very. Here how, so you have to use very, then long. These two, two words combinedly make a phrase. Now the answer goes that the sea beaches of Cox's Bazar is very long. It's a, an assertive sentence. Dear students, we have come to the last sentence that is the sentence number A. Here we go. Usain Bolt is a living legend. Usain Bolt subject is be verb or it is used as a principal verb. Usain Bolt is a living legend. You know it is a sentence of present infinite tense. Usain Bolt is a living legend. You have to transform it as a negative one. Here you see, you can see that no negative sign. So you have to take a negative sign. And answer is goes that Usain Bolt is not a dead legend. Here you can focus on the word dead. It is the antonym of living. Obviously Usain Bolt is not a dead man, he is still alive. So Usain Bolt is a living legend. Uh, the negative form of this sentence is Usain Bolt is not a dead legend. We have more three sentences. Number F, Raju is a gentleman. Raju is a gentleman. 
negative in a bracket. So you have to make it as a negative sentence. It's, it's an affirmative one. You have to change it as a negative one. To do this work, you have to follow some rules. You know, Raju is a gentleman. Here, you have to use the antonym of the word gentle and put, you have to put a note after the be verb is. Now, here we go, the answer, Raju is not an impolite man. Here, impolite, an impolite man is the antonym of a gentle man. Actually, we have changed the word gentle. We have used, we have used the antonym of gentle that is polite impolite Raju is not an impolite man this is the negative form of Raju is a gentleman the next sentence sentence number G rice sales cheap rice sales cheap passive this is a sentence of present indefinite tense and the verb is a quasi passive verb so you have to change this sentence according to the rules of quasi passive voice here go the answer you have to take the subject rice 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 this is a present indefinite tense the, this sentence is the sentence of present indefinite tense so sales uh, for this you have to use the auxiliary verb is the B verb is as an auxiliary one. Raju is uh, sorry, rice is cheap when it is sold. You can change the others quasi passive sentences according to these rules, such as. Honey tastes sweet. It's a sentence of active voice. Now, the passive form of this sentence according to these rules. Rice is cheap when it is sold. We can write now, honey is sweet when it is tasted you can see that I use the same rule of changing the sentence number G rice sells cheap rice is cheap when it is sold According, according to the same rule, you can change this sentence, honey tastes sweet. Honey is sweet when it is tasted. Actually, we transformed the active sentence to a passive one. According to the same rule we have used in, this, in the sentence number G. Rice sells cheap rice is cheap when it is sold likewise honey tastes sweet honey is sweet when it is tasted you can learn more sentence like this sentence says for example you can focus on this sentence the building The house is building. If you use the same rule, you have to change this sentence according to this way. The house is being built.
Dear students, these are quasi passive sentences because here quasi passive verbs are used. The last sentence only people can do this work. You can again focus on this sentence only people can do this work. Negative, you have to make, make it as a negative one. You know, if there is there is the word only in a sentence uh, while you are changing that to negative then you can use three options you have three options none but nothing but or not more than here only is placed before Bipul. Bipul indicates the name of a man. Only, so only means a man. That is why you have to use none but, the phrase none but. If only indicates any object, you have to use the phrase nothing but. And if only indicates any amount, or number you have to phrase you have to use the phrase no more than here only indicates people undoubtedly it's the name of a man so while answering to this question you have to use none but in the place of only here we go, the answer, none but people can do this work, none but for only, then the next parts, the next part of the sentence will be unchanged. You have to only change the only. Here you, play, you have to place none but for only, then the next part of the sentence will be unchanged.